So, Mighty Max challenges the Lava Beast Horror Head. The Lava Beast is actually a bit of a reoccurring character theme for Mighty Max. Like, this is just the Horror Head, but there's also the Lava Beast Battle Warrior playset, and then in the cartoon, Lava Beasts do make a few appearances, but again, they look different. So I was lucky enough to pick up a lot with this and about nine other horror heads. I've already reviewed a few of them, so be sure to check them out afterwards if this is your kind of thing. Anyway, this figure, I feel personally, it's a bit of a mess. I mean, there's a lot of details here, but the head feels really helter-skelter put together and not all that refined. I guess I'll say I really love the ideas here, but this head didn't grab me. And then again, it's not one I had as a kid. So maybe there's a bit of love missing here, not as much nostalgia, but I did warm up to it a bit once I got it open. Inside, we get a really colourful mess, like leaving a pack of crayons out in the sun and they all started to bake together, but in a good way. Let's check out some of the characters first though. We get Lava Beetle, Mighty Max, and the main bad guy here is Energoid. He's the Lava Beast. Why the Lava Beast is a purple blob and not actually made of lava, I'm not entirely sure. But I'm guessing at this point they were just running really low on red paint. Who knows? So for this lot of horror heads, I was actually lucky enough to get the comic strips for a bit of backstory. I'll be sure to upload a much more readable version, along with a few higher quality images on the Leftover Culture Review website, but the story here is the Lava Beast is plotting to take over the world from the core. Mighty Max arrives to stop the fiend, but Energoid sends his Lava Beetle minion. I guess he probably wasn't that serious about taking over the world if his contingency plan here is a beetle. Max pretty much dodges the beetle and burns Energoid the Lava Beast. It's uh, kind of anticlimactic for a villain who lives around lava called Lava Beast, but we did get a really cool playset, especially on the inside, and it ties in with a lot of the other Mighty Max playsets like Blast's Magus and the Battle Master's Lava Beast set. So if you're a fan of these horror heads, you might want to check out some of the previous ones I've already covered this month. Or check back soon for the next one. I'm tackling a bunch of these in the next few weeks and I'll be stoked to have you come along for the ride. Cheers.